if you have the Galaxy Note 20 or Tab S7, you might already know that the Samsung Notes app got some new features and improvement. And now Samsung is making these features available on the Galaxy Tab S6. So in this video, I will show you 10 new interesting feature updates on the Samsung Notes app. The first feature is a big improvement I was looking for, and it is searching your handwritten notes for any words. This is very helpful if you have many handwritten pages like a course you're taking and want to look for something specific without having to scroll and read every page. Once inside your note, you can click the search icon and type the word you're looking for. Since your handwriting can be recognized by the app, the search results will take you to that word and highlight it with this box. Samsung character recognition is actually getting insanely good in a way that I was able to search through my bad handwriting. You can also search by clicking this sorting option, then search in the corner field, and the app will load pages containing the searched word. The second feature is action icons. When you go into the app settings and activate action icons, the app will be able to recognize handwritten phone numbers, emails, and formulas. When you hover the S Pen over the text, an icon will appear from which you can launch the associated action. Hover the pen over a number and you can call it from here, or over an email address and it redirects you to send an email, or even over a simple formula and it will take you to the calculator and solve the equation. Interesting stuff. Next is the easy writing pad. If you head in the app settings, toolbar add-ons and activate easy writing pad, you will be able to use the handwriting pad by clicking this icon. This will make writing easier since everything you write in the pad is bigger and clearer, and will be easily straightened on a white page. You can move the pad wherever you want for a more comfortable writing position, and also choose the line you want to edit using this orange box. The app now introduces a new reading mode. This is a mode that lets you read your taken notes and scroll through pages without those accidental S Pen or finger writings. You can activate it with this book icon and block those unwanted touches and gestures. Click it again and you will get back to your input mode. Number 5 is automatically making your handwriting straight. If you have tilted writing like I mostly do, you can just click this icon and straighten it up. The app will guess the different tilt degrees for each word and line separately and adjust every word in its right place. Very convenient. The next feature is opening and writing on PDFs. Now you can import full PDFs using this PDF icon. Once done, you can highlight text, write your comments or even sign the document. Then you can save it as another file format like Word or PowerPoint. Very easy. Number 7 is a feature that was available on the previous versions, but in case you don't know about it yet, when you are in reading mode, you can hover the S Pen on the bottom page to scroll down or on the top of the notes page to scroll up. No need to activate any app settings to use this. Number 8 is a feature to protect your privacy. If you have a note with sensitive information, you can click and hold the note and choose the lock option. Once done, the note will be locked and you can only access it either by entering your password or using your biometrics. So other persons will not be able to access it. Next is shape recognition. When you head into the app settings, toolbar add-ons and activate auto fix shapes, you will be able to draw shapes with the S Pen then the app will automatically fix them to clearer shapes, like circles, stars or any other shape. You need to activate this shape icon here to use the feature, and deactivate it when you will only be writing. Last but not least is changing the handwritten style. If you have already written your sentences and you're not satisfied with the style or colors, you can change that afterward by selecting this icon. You can set the new pen thickness and color and easily apply it to your notes. Keep in mind that it is not yet possible to change the pen type with this. So, these were the top features you will find on this major update. Tell me which one you will see yourself use the most. Hope you liked the video, leave a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more to come. Thanks for watching, and catch you guys in the next one.